Now, donating an organ to save a friend or a relative's life is perhaps one of the most special and selfless decisions that anyone can make. But a direct donation only works if the tissue types match. But this morning, we can tell you about another way that it's possible to help. This is called a paired or pooled donation. It involves finding some other people who are in the same predicament and then swapping with them. Our health correspondent, Michelle Roberts, has been to see some people and how it can work. It's like a microphone. A microphone. <laughs> Destiny Ray is five. She loves Play-Doh, singing, and her mum, Maria. But she doesn't like broccoli or dialysis. But maybe when you get your kidney, you might like broccoli. What do you think? She's been having dialysis three times a week since she was ten months old because her kidneys don't work. Added together, that's more than six whole months of her young life rigged up to the machine. I think all she's ever known is dialysis. She definitely doesn't have any memory of not being on dialysis. Um, and this has kind of been like her second family for a long time, which in many ways is a beautiful thing, but also um, what's best for her is to be out in school. There we go. <laughs> Play therapy helps pass the time while waiting for a new kidney. That's your favourite one, isn't it? The odds of finding a donor are stacked against destiny. There's a national shortage of organs. My turn. Oh, now he's going to get you. Particularly from black and ethnic minority people. No suitable deceased donor has been found, but a special organ swap scheme with living donors, the UK Living Kidney Sharing Scheme, might help. The sharing scheme widens the search, using people who are willing to give one of their healthy kidneys to a stranger. They promise to donate if, in return, their friend or loved one gets a kidney from someone else. The swaps only go ahead if everyone matches up so that no patient misses out. So, for example, you might have a pair here who aren't a good match, so you can't do a transplant. But bring in another pair and you can see how you can match the kidneys up. Go. <gasps> We've got one. Destiny's wait for a kidney has been long and uncertain. Nope. But social media has provided a lifeline. They met their living donor, Liffy, in an online discussion group talking about the difficulty of finding a donor. They didn't go together. Although Liffy's not a tissue match for Destiny, she hopes the scheme can pair them with someone who is. I think it's quite hard for people to get their head around why I would donate my kidney to someone I'm not related to. And also someone that I've met online. Destiny was actually the same age as my own daughter and I couldn't imagine being in the same position as Maria and Destiny and someone not wanting to help. This one. A healthy donor like Liffy can lead a normal life on one remaining kidney, although it's a massive decision to make. It wasn't until I saw her in the hospital and I was just like, wow, she's serious. Like, she really wants to get tested, you know? And from then on, we've just been best of friends. My daughter loves her, so she calls her Auntie Liffy. She loves They've got an amazing, like, bond. It's so beautiful to see. And, yeah, she's literally sent from heaven. She's my guardian angel. That's Lego. Two. Is it Lego? Every three months, Destiny and Liffy wait to hear if a match can be found. They're hoping today it's third time lucky. Maria? Yes? Can I tell you something? What's well, tell me? Earlier today, I got a phone call. They found a match for us. So we're, we're paired up. <laughs> Come. You want a hug? Come. <laughs> Medical teams will now start planning the operations. We've done it. Michelle Roberts, BBC News. Well, we are delighted to say Destiny Ray has had her transplant. She's here with Mum Maria. Now. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Now, the people at home won't know, but I love that you were just watching your telly. She just won't stop watching. She won't stop watching herself on TV. What's that like to see that moment again? Oh my gosh! It's it's like I can't believe it. It still feels like yesterday. Wait, wait, wait! wait. wait. She still wants to see herself. But it's, it's honestly, I can't believe it. I'm watching back thinking, oh my gosh, this feels like. Yesterday, I still can't believe that like, we're here right now. Had the transplant and it's just, wow, I'm in awe. <laughs> I'm 
like happy tears at the moment. It's so weird. Oh, so, not surprised. It's Wait, so way, wonderful. Please. Destiny, we're over here. Hey, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. How are you feeling, Destiny? How are you feeling? I'm good. Mother. Good. That's fantastic. <laughs> you had the operation, but you're now back mm -hmm. home and, and you're feeling great. Oh, mum, you must be so relieved. I am so relieved. Oh, my gosh. It was literally, oh, I felt like a lifetime was waiting for this situation to happen. And when it finally happened, I was like, oh, my gosh, I was so nervous. You can imagine going down for surgery with her, like holding her, saying this is what we waited for. Literally like four years of dialysis. It's it's just been so surreal. So to find that we're here now and we're in isolation at the moment. But um, once we're out of it, I feel like life can finally begin. And we can just live life, she can go to school, fall back on full-time school, and I can just start my own life, you know? Because it it's took a lot of, you know, I had to give up my job, I had to give up my social life, literally. I had to, there was a lot of things I had to sacrifice and become a full-time carer for her. So I just feel like now we're at the point, we've got what we've been literally building up for, and I can now begin my life. So it's happy times with both of us, babe, they're over here. <laughs> it's, it's literally a new lease of life for both of you. Literally a new, I did not see past Dialysis lifestyle. Literally that was me. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Saturday. You get there for 7.30 a.m. You don't know what time you're going to come home. You don't even know if you're going to leave. Sometimes you get admitted if there's a temperature, high blood pressure, da 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 da, da fluid no removal. There's a lot that goes into Dialysis. So I could never really plan life. She's never been on an aeroplane. I've never gone on holiday with her. Um, it just opens the door to so many things and I'm forever grateful to this scheme, the pair scheme. I owe them my life. And yeah, I'm just in a place of happiness and more certainty about her, her life and what she can do. Wait, wait, can you stop? We're over here, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> and just um, she keeps watching herself on TV. <laughs> and um, it's just, we're, we're in a good place right now, and I thank God every day, every day I was praying, please, 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 because I wanted her first kidney to be a living kidney rather than a deceased. Nothing wrong with deceased, but for her first kidney, I really wanted a living donor, and that's what I was praying for, and have a paired scheme, because I had people come forward, obviously, like Lifu, and she wasn't a match, and I was just like, oh. Then finally we had hope of this paired scheme, whatever, give it a go, and look at our success on the end of it all, and... She's a living proof of the kidney. What's your kidney name? Call them Jojo. Yeah, she calls it Jojo. Jojo, Jojo the kidney. That's what you call the kidney. That's fantastic. Yes, and when you talk about a new lease of life for both of you, things that you'll be able to go and do, places you'll be able to visit now for the first time, what's the dream? Yeah. What would you most love to do she together? Really, where do you want to? She wants to go to um, Disneyland. That's her dream. I don't want to go to Are you going to go to Disneyland? Oh. She changed. Where do you want to go now, then? Are you sure? Um, Africa. You want to go to oh. Africa? OK. <sighs> A holiday in Africa, lovely. <laughs> That's our heritage. You just got so a any, text. Thing is, <laughs> anyway, it's still a place, still a place to go. It's the fact that we can go on an aeroplane now. We can fly. You want to go on an aeroplane? You've never been on an aeroplane before, have you? So um, it's just any the fact that we can go away. We can go away. Okay. The things that we can't okay. do. We can never plan, as I said. I've got family in Manchester. Brother lives in the States. Family abroad. And the fact that we're only ones who were never able to go while everyone's... Uh, you know, celebrating, having fun, and we're just watching on the, doing big cool times, and it's just now we can plan. Things that we couldn't do before, we can now do, and i just excited for the fact that we, I can see a future. I couldn't see a future before, because all you do is see the dialysis, and, you know, it's it's a machine, it's not your actual kid, it's just a machine, and that machine can put anything go wrong. There's always risk factors, and now I'm at a place where she's, we're stable, and we're living life, and we can just plan, so I'm more than happy, excited, and I can live my life, which unfortunately well, I couldn't do before. Maria but, um, and Destiny yeah. Ray, I think what's going to happen now is you're going to check your phone and you're going to have about 20 <laughs> texts from people going, I can see you on the telly. I, I think know. that's what's been Literally. happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lovely to see you, Destiny Ray. It's great no, to see you looking you. so well. And book thank that you holiday. So much. Have you got thank any you. tissues thank left? Thank you for sharing our story. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Ripping up she that said, 20 thank tissues. You, like, thank you. So She's so gorgeous. Oh, that was lovely, wasn't it? We needed that today, didn't we? Yes. Um,